Hey there, gold hunters. Today, I've got an unbelievable story for you that might just have you racing outside with a shovel. We're about to dive deep into the tale of a man who struck it rich, right in his own backyard, with the help of none other than Gold Rush star, Dave Turin. That's right, folks, this isn't just any story about hidden treasure. We've got Dave Turin, a gold mining legend himself, guiding us through the twists and turns of one man's discovery worth a jaw-dropping $3.5 million. Now, imagine this, you're going about your everyday life, and then, just beneath your feet, lies a fortune. What would you do? Let's head to the golden foothills of California's Sierra Nevada mountains, an area bursting with history from the famous 49er gold rush. For most people, that's just a historical fact, but for Jim Eakin, it became a gold mine, literally. This story really begins when Dave Turin, the seasoned prospector from Gold Rush, rolls into town to meet Jim, a guy whose backyard has become a literal treasure trove. Now, Dave knows his way around prospecting. He spent years digging for gold in some of the most challenging places on Earth. But even he's blown away by Jim's story. And trust me, when Dave Turin says something's impressive, you know it's the real deal. You see, prospecting isn't just about digging holes. It's a game of strategy, skill, and intuition. As Dave explains, finding gold is like solving a mystery. You've got to piece together clues from the land, understand how water, landslides, and erosion shape the earth, and then, finally, zero in on those golden spots. And that's where Jim's backyard comes into play. Jim didn't start out as a professional prospector. In fact, he used to work a regular job in Silicon Valley, battling traffic and the daily grind. But like many of us, he craved something more, freedom, excitement, and adventure. So, Jim ditched his desk job and picked up a metal detector. And guess what? He hit the jackpot. Dave and Jim head out to search Jim's property, and that's when Dave starts putting his skills to the test, showing us just how it's done. They wander through the remnants of old mining operations, long abandoned water ditches and quartz veins, and it's not long before Dave uncovers the gold-rich clues that led Jim to his big finds. Now, Jim's discovery isn't your average gold nugget. Nope, this is something far rarer, crystallized gold. And Dave, the gold expert, couldn't be more excited. Why? Because crystallized gold is one of the purest, most valuable forms of gold on Earth. Unlike typical nuggets, which are rounded and smooth from tumbling down rivers, crystallized gold retains its natural shape, often found embedded in quartz. It's so rare, it accounts for only 1% of the world's gold supply, and it can fetch up to a million dollars per ounce. Back to Jim's biggest score, a staggering 19-ounce crystallized nugget, so valuable it paid for a brand new F-150 pickup. But that's just scratching the surface. In total, Jim's backyard prospecting has brought in nearly $3.5 million worth of gold. That's right, folks, millions, all found without heavy machinery, just a metal detector and a keen sense for history and geology. And here's where Dave really breaks it down. While showing us his prospecting techniques, Dave explains how modern-day gold hunting is all about reading the land. The old-timers back in the gold rush days did most of the heavy lifting, but they missed plenty of treasures along the way. That's where experts like Jim and Dave come in, filling in the gaps where history left off. With his metal detector in hand, Dave swings through Jim's property, explaining how a simple tool, something anyone can buy for a few hundred bucks, can lead to life-changing discoveries. After a bit of searching, the detector beeps, and they start digging. Dave's excitement is contagious as he unearths a tiny piece of wire, a small find, but it's part of the game. Every sound could be the next big hit, and Dave knows that better than anyone. Then, the moment of truth arrives. Dave and Jim dig up a piece of gold right before our eyes, a crystallized specimen worth about 100 bucks. It's not the biggest find, but it's proof that the gold is still out there, waiting for those who are patient enough to look. Jim grins, and Dave's impressed. There's nothing quite like the thrill of finding gold, no matter the size. But the story doesn't end there. Jim invites Dave to check out his treasure trove, 29 cases filled with beautiful crystallized gold, leaf gold, and wire gold. Each specimen is more stunning than the last, but what really blows Dave away is the fact that all of this gold was found on Jim's very own property. Imagine that, your backyard could be sitting on a fortune, and you wouldn't even know it. By the end of the day, even Dave Turin is floored by Jim's success. But when he asks Jim why he keeps doing it, even after finding all that gold, Jim's answer is simple. It's the thrill of the hunt. And that's the real takeaway here, folks. Sure, 
Jim's made millions, but what keeps him going is the excitement, the adventure, and the chance to find something truly special. It's a reminder that sometimes, the real treasure is in the journey itself. So, what are you waiting for? Grab a metal detector, head out to those historical spots near you, and start hunting. Who knows? Maybe your own backyard is hiding a fortune, just waiting to be discovered. If you loved this story, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next time for more incredible tales from America's golden past, and maybe its future. Happy hunting, everyone!